Hi, this is Alan Abbott with Paragon Films. And today we're gonna go through some of the things that we carry with us in our tool bag when we go on a film audit with you. These are the key tools that we'll use to help us measure containment for your customer's products, as well as other tools that help us measure how much film is on the pallet. And we also carry some handy tools that can help us get inside of the equipment to take a look under the carriage, make certain adjustments on the fly if we're capable to do so, and just really make sure that we don't leave any stone unturned while we're with you on a film call. Because we spend just as much time working on the equipment as we do with the film. So it's very important that we come prepared with all the tools because we never know what we're going to see when we're working with different types of equipment. So the first two tools I'm going to show you are two of the mechanical tools that we use to measure containment. The first tool is our torsion tool. The torsion tool is one of the primary mechanical devices we use to measure containment. We have a digital scale attached to it which measures the pounds and ounces. The torsion tool has two 10 inch poles, one sharp and one flat. These are spaced one inch apart so when one side is inserted into the plastic, this allows the tool to rotate as we are collecting our data. We start by inserting the sharp end into the plastic 22 inches from the right side of the product. We start by inserting the sharp end of the torsion tool inside the film behind all layers of plastic. We'll then make sure that our scale is zeroed out before we begin taking our measurement. Once we begin applying force, we're going to check our indicator window for the green dial. When that green dial shows up inside the window, that means you've applied a consistent amount of force and you can record your reading. This ensures that regardless of who is measuring, is pulling with the same force and consistency across your readings. We'll record in pounds and ounces. Another tool that we use to measure containment is a six inch pull plate. We begin by measuring 18 inches from the side of our product and 10 inches from the top of our product to mark the location of our containment measurement with the pull plate. We will then pull the pull plate out four inches to record our containment measurement. It's important to note that the numbers with the pull plate and the containment numbers with the torsion tool will not be identical as these are two different mechanical devices measuring in two slightly different areas of the pallet. So it's important to check with your customers if they have containment standards and how they are measuring them. And then what we will do is we will slide the pull plate behind the stretch film. And I've already punctured a hole here for it to come out to. This is there, we're going to hook up our measuring device. And then it's still mechanical, so what makes this tricky is you have to hold the tape measure with one hand because we need to get a four inch pull. It means we're going to pull this plate out four inches from the product while holding it in place to measure our containment. Another tool that we'll use during a film analysis is a scale. The scale will tell us how much film is being put on the pallet, and this is measured in ounces, or sometimes pounds if they're using a lot of film, which is very popular with what we typically see. So our goal is to show our customers how we can utilize less film and reach their optimum containment by doing so. After we've finished completing containment measurements, it's time to safely cut and remove our stretch film from our load. Once we have cut the film loose, we're gonna take it and twist it and ball it up into as small of a ball as we can. We don't have to worry about getting all of the air out of the ball because air doesn't weigh anything. From there, we're going to put it on our scale and we're gonna measure how much film was on that pallet. In this instance, we had 3.3 ounces of film on our pallet. We always carry a tape measure. The tape measure is very important. It not only helps us measure the length, width, and height of our load, but it also helps us make sure that we are measuring our containment in the proper places on the pallet, such as 22 inches from the right with the torsion tool, top, middle, and bottom. Here's some of the critical tools we carry with us to help us learn more about the equipment and the film. 
We have our Allen wrench, and this is key in helping us open the lid of the carriage to look at the sprockets and chains, or the gears and the belts. We have a digital micrometer. This is helpful in gauging the thickness of film if we don't know what the film is we're testing against or how thick it is. And then we have a gap wrench. This helps us measure the distance in small gaps throughout the equipment so that we can diagnose and see how far the gap is. It's just a great measuring tool. We also have a multi-tool which helps us use any of the other tools that we may not have with us in our bag in case we need those. This is our flashlight. I always carry a telescoping flashlight because it sometimes can help us get behind things. We need to put it in tiny little places that we don't have easy access to, especially when we're checking spring hinges, pressing up against drive rollers. Typically when we're doing this, we'll stick our flashlight behind the drive rollers, and if there's proper tension, we should not see any light, just as you're seeing here as I'm simulating with my tool. But if you start seeing light show through, that's a sign that those spring hinges could be loose and need adjustments. We should not be able to see a little or any light coming through the pinch roller and the drive roller. So this would call for a quick easy adjustment on the fly if we're able to or something that a certified technician would need to come in and adjust. Sometimes more than one pinch roller should be out but we should be looking for something like this where we don't see any light at all between the drive roller and the pinch roller. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, we love coming to an analysis prepared for anything, and that includes having our own safety gear. We always wear with us a yellow safety vest, and we even have our steel code boots on at all times prepared for any facility safety requirements. We even carry our own safety glasses, our own earplugs, and we even have our own Paragon branded hard hat. This just prevents us from having to borrow safety gear from your customers or yourself so that we can show that we're always ready to do the job anytime, anywhere. One of my favorite things that I love to leave behind after a film analysis is a nice little friendly reminder from Paragon Films on how to properly load our rolls of film, whether it's arrows down or arrows up. It's critical to know where the cling is with Paragon's films. We always have the cling on the inside, but not every manufacturer loads their roll the same way. So for us, it's either arrows up or arrows down, and that is based on which way that your equipment is rotating. So this is just one of those friendly reminders that I like to leave behind to ensure that everybody that's using your equipment is loading our film properly. Thanks again for joining us today to learn more about the tools that we carry as Paragon reps to help us measure containment as well as get access into those critical components of the equipment that we're working on with you. I'm Alan Abbott with Paragon Films, and remember, stretch film never sleeps.